Okay, next step is to machine this surface. So I will create new 2D contouring operation. I will choose the tool for this. It will be 16 millimeter cylindrical mill. Okay, this edge is my curve. I'm going to machine. This is the curve. This is my top level. And this surface is my bottom level. Okay, next I'm going to make uh, roughing passes 10% of the tool diameter so here is my tool path so one more thing I'm going to adjust bottom level a little bit to make a little overlap in order not to get the bad uh, place here as we can see it now on the machining result so it will be minus 12 millimeters instead of minus 11 like this, very good. And I will adjust the toolpath a little bit now, turn off the holder visibility. So as we can see, we need to extend the toolpath in order for the tool to start machining from the outside of the uh, workpiece, like this. And we will make a little approach here. This is it, reset, okay, very good. And one more thing, we can optimize uh, this toolpath because here we have two passes and um, the transition between two passes to, to these passes here is through the safe, uh, safe plane here. We can change it to, here are the transitions. <clears throat> so I uh, switch to li links and leads tab and here I have links section and here I have transitions. Uh, here we have the parameter set to, to via sa safe plane. I will change it to a round workpiece. Let's see what we can get. Here we can see that we have, we get rid of this uh, movement, external, extra movement, and now the transition is performed here. So we can simulate it. I reset the work the workpiece, calculate up to current, simulate up to current operation and press run. Here's our tool. I will turn on the machine. And here how the machining is simulated here. Okay. That's it. And the first pass transition and the second pass. Perfect.